so badly want to get into this, don't no, you? No, no, no. I want to point out they didn't have any special dressing room. It's just one of our dressing rooms. That's right, a normal dressing room. <laughs> anyway, our cleaning lady today, uh, Clara Beamish, who was in there earlier. <laughs> Clara's been NBC for about 37 oh, years. Yeah. Dear, sweet old lady, but a little, you know, addled. And the president left some items in the dressing room. Now, I'm not saying the president's forgetful. It's that, you know, he's busy and he finished his speech, got on the helicopter, and apparently the Secret Service or his aides forgot to pick up yeah. some of these things. And we thought, I don't, without divulging anything too personal, yeah. I'd like to show you. And no secrets, of course. What? No state secrets. No state, I wouldn't do that. He left his billfold. Yeah. Now, um, let, let's, see, let's see what's in here. President Reagan's billfold actually left in there. There's a blank check that made out. Is that, was that supposed to be in there? It said made out to order of, and it's not even signed. It's must be something more amusing than that. <laughs> well, certainly it's his wallet, though. That proves it. This is very interesting. Have you noticed that they, the post office made the statement recently that in case of a nuclear war, they will forward your mail if you will mm -hmm. give them a forwarding address? Mm -hmm. There's a note in the wallet, in case of nuclear war, please forward my mail to the space shuttle. <laughs> Got to be something more amusing than that. Picture of Mona Freeman. Remember those things used to come in Wallace's you could buy? I always thought that you never should take that picture out. It's supposed to keep Lana Turner in there, right? Yeah, I never knew that that was just to show you, but Mona Freeman is still in the wallet here. Let's see what else we have. Right, well, let's see. We, we put this together so quickly, I'm not sure. When did uh, Mrs. Beamish give you all this uh, stuff? Just, just actually as I came out here. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the picture of Mona Freeman. I told you about it. It was actually in the wallet there. Uh, well, the president will certainly want to get all this stuff back. <laughs> well, <laughs> here is... Oh, here's a card from the General Electric Company store entitling you to a 20% discount on... Uh, remember when he used to do the GE Theater? And uh, this is a... Apparently electric... we're the only two that we... <laughs> <laughs> Here's something interesting, the President's wall is a stagecoach driver's license. There's <laughs> a uh, social security card. You know what his number is? No. Three. <laughs> Let's see, there must be... Oh, I know what this is now. It's all gone. It, it just say, came to you. It just came to me. <laughs> came to you on page two. This is what it's... <laughs> this is what it's called, writing as you hit the air. This $400 check is a residual check from for bedtime for Bonzo. Did you know that? That's what it is. Okay, let's see whatever else is in here. You sure you have the right one? <laughs> I thought so. I guess I don't. <laughs> There's got to be some funny things in here. <laughs> Maybe they're over here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't try to fool you folks, I mean... We're, here's, here's the president's uh, appointment calendar. It's kind of interesting, he's got uh, uh, November penciled in uh, for a nap. Uh, let's see what else we have in this wallet. That seems about empty, the wallet. Ah, oh, now this we found in the dressing room. This is a... A sandwich that he ordered from the NBC commissary, mm. unfinished, was in the dressing room. It's a, it's a JLT. This is a jelly beans, lettuce, and tomatoes. <laughs> we 
also found, uh, oh, here's some things back here. I have. <laughs> oh, here's the appointment calendar right there. <laughs> found this in his wallet, too. <laughs> With a little note, apparently he had written to the FBI. It says, please, oh, this was attached to this picture. It said, please find out who this man is. He's been following me around for a year and a half, and that was the picture he had. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, I guess just about all of the amusing things that should have been in his and wallet Mrs. there. Mrs. Beamish sure has a sense of humor. Mrs. Beamish has a sense of humor, and we'll certainly get this back to the, uh, President Reagan. Uh, <laughs> this was called putting together a bit quickly <laughs> as you hit the desk. Okay, folks, we're gonna take a break here.